from Elm City Trailer here. Today I'm going to do a demo on one of our Intex, which is just the high-end enclosed trailer. This one was built for a local energy company that needed a, a workshop on wheels, if you will, and it's going to be in extreme conditions as far as heat and as far as cold. So we loaded it up with a diesel gen and heat and AC, the whole package. So we're going to give you a quick tour. We'll start right in the front. That's actually where the propane tanks are in that aluminum tread plate box. We did an extended tongue. Um, you'll notice on the bottom, we did the heavy duty for uh, the jacks in the front and the back so they can just lock it down tight while they're working and it won't move around. Um, it's got a power awning, upgraded it to the 48 inch side door, upgraded it to the step, put some recepts on the outside put some LED lights on the outside. You'll notice the solid wheels, it's because it's got 8,000 pound axles, 17 and a half inch rubber. We put a couple windows in it, because the guys will be in there quite a bit. Um, you'll notice underneath, we put the bogey wheels here. Those are where the jacks are. They have a bottom it out. And it has skid pads standard anyway right here. There's heavy skid plates, but the wheels are nice. And we did the stainless uprights with the spoiler. The spoiler is nice because when you add it, it gives you the low lights, but it also helps if you're in the weather, like to keep the rain from going in and it gives you a little bit of an overhang. Stainless on the polish, on the uprights here. Reverse lights. Um, put another recep on the outside here. The skin is 040. I put an extra foot of height in it. Another window. You'll notice this. This is because for the generator, I put a 40 gallon in-frame fuel tank. AKW diesel generator. Um, it's got plenty of power. And you can go bigger, you can go small, you can go gas. There's a lot of options. Let's have a look inside. So right off the bat, I put a lighted grab handle on it. Any guys that are working at night, it's just nice to see. It's nice to be able to get in. You will see, we load it up. Where's the, oh, here we go. There's our main kill switch. Our, we upgraded to 50 amp electrical panel. Um, cabinets, everything opens up and they're on gas props so they don't hit each other. I put a skylight in it. Guys are going to be working in here. It's nice to get a little light instead of sitting in the dark. That's why we got the windows. Um, it's got a 35,000 BTU furnace, um, two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. We've got R14 insulation in the walls and the ceiling, and we have temp coat spray insulation underneath. So with Intec, you're gonna get a three quarter inch ply floor. We went black point on top of that. Underneath the wood is a full 030 skin aluminum vapor barrier. So the wood never sees moisture anyway. And then underneath that is a thick spray insulation, which is why when a thing is going to be parked near the water and the freezing cold, it won't get cold in here. Um, anyway, if you have a look at the cabinet, so we did roller bearing drawers everywhere. So right off the bat, we did a couple on the top. We, if you notice, these are 24, those are 27 deep. We did cabinets. We can offer two different sides from Intec. We do a five or a seven row. Um, they come, all the cabinets are beautiful. Stainless top. Um, we put extra plugs everywhere. You'll notice some of the plugs have USB ports. Um, one of the other things you'll notice is they wanted it bright. So I put extra, these 18 inch recess lights and I put 18 of them in here. We also put them under the counter. So when you're working on the bench, you have good lighting. We upgraded all the switches to interior style light switches. These are awesome. Flung lights on the outside, grab handle lights. They needed benches. 
We're gonna make some cushions for these, but they just wanted a place to sit without getting crazy. So we're just gonna make a cushion for this and we put storage in here. This particular one doesn't go crazy with the storage because you're above the fender. This is the same one over here, but there's no fender obviously, so you get a little more room in this one. These hooks were custom made for a certain particular hose that are gonna hang on. So we did backers in the wall. These things are never gonna move. These are just, you can order custom stuff like that if you, if you have a, a special need. You just let us know and Intech will design it and make it and then they'll warrant you. Uh, we put some E-Track here and here. Obviously they're gonna hang all different things in here. Again, in all your cabinets, you have just a ton of cabinet space. So some of them I put shelves in, some are adjustable, some I didn't put shelving in. There you go. So your diesel generator will run this thing 40 gallons, it barely sips fuel, so it'll run a long time before you need fuel. Um, obviously, it depends on what you're using and air conditioning. People always ask, you know, how much do you need? Hey, the hotter it is outside, the more they're gonna work. But this is 24 feet with a foot of extra height. And with the insulation and the 215K, 15,000 BTU ACs, we should be mid. Um, anyway, it's just another view of something Intech builds for us that we designed. Um, and everything was designed to their spec. Enough with the ramp. Uh, we upgraded the floor to 12 inch on center. We upgraded the insulation, I mean the aluminum interior walls and ceiling. We upgraded the lights, we upgraded power. We did a lot of upgrades, but uh, it'll last them a very long time. So anyway, Bobby, Elm City Trailer, check us out on the YouTube channel or Facebook. And if you have any questions, just give us a call. Thanks for watching.